Hi everybody, I'm here doing my very first YouTube on BluePoppyYouTube.com and today I want to share a little technique that I talked about in a webinar that I did on TCM TV a couple of days ago and people asked what does that look like? I've never seen that so here's the YouTube of it. It is called the single needle seven star hammer technique and it does this, it has the same effect as seven star hammer but without the pain that people don't like about that technique. You've all experienced that. People will flinch, etc. Now this uh, technique I learned from Mickey Shima to give proper accreditation and it's usually done on the neck and shoulders of the back to release stagnant chi and possibly heat harassing the upper body or counterflow inversion chi that's going in the wrong direction. So it releases um, excess or repletions in the neck and shoulders. So you take a single needle, doesn't really matter what kind or what gauge and whatever you normally use, and you pull it back so that there's just maybe a sixteenth of it sticking out from in front of my fingertips. And what I'm going to do, be doing is tapping where, uh, where I want the treatment to be. In this case, I'm just doing it on my arm. It would not usually be done on the arms, but anyway. So there's a tiny little bit of it that sticks out, but because my fingers are also touching on either side of the needle, the patient's perception of it is that it's very gentle and it doesn't hurt. Still, you will see very quickly that some redness will come up on the skin. And uh, you need to keep your hand and your wrists relaxed and soft. You're not doing this. It's just a soft little tapping. Your fingers can also touch the skin. All of that extra sensation will make it more comfortable. It's like topotement in massage therapy. Uh, you do it for two, three, four minutes, depending on you know, how much neck and shoulder tension your patient has. Um, so it's a very simple technique. And then, of course, you just put the needle in your red box instead of having to figure out how you're going to uh, sterilize your seven-star hammer, etc. So it's a very simple technique. It's very comfortable for the patient. It really feels good afterwards. So um, I suggest you give it a try, and uh, if you were someone who was at my webinar the other day, thanks for being there. Um, if you want more of these kinds of techniques, check out some of my distance learning classes at Blue Poppy. Thanks a whole lot.